As with any destructive storm, there are concerns about looters taking advantage of those who have evacuated. This bar in Myrtle Beach is boarded up with plywood spray painted with the message, looters will be shot. News 4 Jack's meteorologist Jonathan Stacy is in North Myrtle Beach with photojournalist Judge Hulon. He's joining us live. Jonathan, is that popular tourist destination pretty much deserted? The area is mostly deserted, Tom, as the strongest winds and the heaviest bands of rain continue to push through the area. However, there are some people who are determined to stick it out no matter how bad it gets. While some 75 to 80 percent of people who live along the beaches of Ord County heeded the evacuation orders, Lucy Nelson was not one of them. Why in the world did you decide to stay here and well, stick it out? Because I stayed here during Matthew and I saw what was happening and I didn't want to leave my stuff. Despite Nelson's bout with previous storms, today's 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gust haven't been felt in this area in decades. The waves of heavy rain this afternoon only made matters worse. Even the local police department tweeted that conditions have become too dangerous for rescue crews to help those in need. Despite being in Florence's path, Nelson tells me if she had left, water would have likely damaged most of her belongings on the fourth floor of this beachfront condominium. What happens is the doors open outwards so they're getting sucked out. And if you're not home to either tie it down or hold on to it, you know, everything's going to get wet inside. Not only are strong winds blowing water into spaces, but we're starting to see that rainfall accumulate and turned into ponding, which will eventually turn into flooding. While our attention does turn to flooding, since there is a flash flood warning that is in effect for this area until 830, we must not forget that tropical storm force winds whip through this area today. And here is evidence of that damage. You can see that tree snapped in half. Yes, right there. That is due to the winds that went through this area early this morning as those tropical storm force winds begin to come through this area. It's a tourist destination that many people come to all throughout the year. Business owners and homeowners will return home to find that this area has been hit by Florence. We're live this afternoon, this evening in North Meadow Beach. Jonathan Stacy, Channel 4, the local station.